The Yamaha YXZ1000R is arguably the most updated and refined sports side-by-side -side on the market. When Yamaha released the YXZ in 2016, it was clearly a niche machine. Focused on the high-performance driver with a good amount of off-road experience, with its high-revving upper RPM-focused engine and manual clutch-equipped 5-speed transmission, throughout its life, its precise agile handling and flat cornering manners have lent themselves to the YXZ's performance, both on the track and on the trail. The 2017 model year brought with it the addition of the Sport Shift model, adding an electronic auto clutch paired with steering column mounted paddle shifters. It featured launch mode for drag racing. In first gear, you can engage the clutch by holding in both paddle shifters, revving the engine to redline, then dumping the clutch by releasing the paddles. Sport Shift automatically shifted down at low speeds to protect the clutch from excessive wear and would slip the clutch in first gear to maintain or create momentum at a crawling pace. 2019 brought with it a number of upgrades and improvements. Yamaha's turbo rods were added to the engine, improving durability and saving over 16 hours on installing Yamaha's accessory turbo kit. The Sport Shift's computer-controlled clutching was reprogrammed to match new gear ratios with a 24% lower first gear for improved crawling. A 7% reduction throughout the rest of the gears balanced out an increase in tire size from 27 to 29 inches. Power steering was recalibrated to match the larger tires. The Fox shocks received new dual-rate springs and adjustable crossovers, along with updated internals. They delivered a plusher ride at lower speeds while improving balance and tracking in rough high-speed sections. Larger brake components and steel-braided brake lines were used to improve power and feel. All this was in addition to a number of other refinements to improve strength, form, function, and performance. While not as numerous, the updates for 2024 are perhaps the most impactful thus far. For 2024, the YXZ1000R returns in both manual and sport shift versions, with a new close ratio 6-speed transmission in search of enhanced low speed performance and improved acceleration especially at lower speeds. In addition to shifting with the paddles, Sport Shift models now feature two automatic shift modes. To test the 2024 YXZ1000R, we sent Ed Texera to Yamaha's press ride at the Sand Hollow State Park located in St. George, Utah. Ed is a former pro ATV desert racer and owner of Texera Tech chassis components. Sand Hollow provides a great mix of low-speed rock crawls, sand dunes, and high-speed whooped-out trails, providing a well-rounded test for Yamaha's updated pure sport machine. UTV On Demand's test of the updated 2024 Yamaha YXZ1000R was made possible by Dirt Commander 2.0 tires from GBC, a bold redesign of the original, offering 8-ply radial construction with enhanced performance and durability in all conditions. Redesigned tread blocks flex more and improve cleanout. Acceleration and braking are improved with their square profile, putting more tread in contact with the ground. Elongated shoulder knobs provide enhanced protection and grip for powering through corners and obstacles with confidence. Learn more at GBCTires.com. Make staying in contact simple with the wireless PackTalk Edge ORV communication system from Cardo. Dynamic mesh communication provides up to a one mile range between units and up to five miles in larger groups. Water, dust, and mud proof. It offers easy and helmet installation with sound by JBL. Offering hands-free voice activated operation with up to 13 hours of talk time on a single charge. PackTalk is ideal for both in-car and car-to-car -car communication, allowing you to connect up to 15 units at one time. Ideal for side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, or any other type of off-road use. You guys ready? We're ready. Roll it. Learn more or order yours now at cardosystems.com. Trim Packages. For 2024, trim packages include the Team Yamaha Blue Edition, available in fully manual or sport shift models. With a $1,000 price reduction for 2024, both start at $20,899. The XTR Edition is available in a sport shift version only. For an additional $2,800, it adds Titan and black painted bodywork, Maxxis Carnage tires mounted on beadlock wheels, a worn VRX 4500, 4500 pound winch controlled by a dashboard mounted switch, a sun top, rear view mirror, XTR front bumper, 
and auxiliary lights for $23,699. For this test, we drove both versions of the Sport Shift model. Engine Performance For 2024, the YXZ1000R's top end remains the same. It's powered by a 998cc triple cylinder engine featuring four valves and double overhead cams per cylinder. Yamaha fuel injection delivers the gas via three 41mm Makuni throttle bodies. An 11.3 to 1 compression ratio is on the high performance side, contributing to the engine's 112 horsepower output. 8 horsepower more than the gearbox equipped twin cylinder engines used in the Honda Talons. For those craving more power, Installation of the GYTR Turbo Kit has been made easier, with mounting brackets now pre-installed on the YXZ. Air for the engine is drawn from inside the cabin between the occupants, with both a foam and paper filter for maximum filtration. The YXZ fires right up and runs flawlessly. The power characteristic remains the same, with the engine pulling its best from around 7,000 RPMs all the way up to 10,500 RPMs when the rev limiter kicks in. The engine will happily growl around in the bottom third of the RPM range, steadily building power at a comfortable casual pace until it reaches the upper mid-range. At that point, the engine rapidly comes to life, ripping hard and building RPMs quickly until the rev limiter kicks in. It's the type of power band that those of us who grew up riding the Yamaha Banshee Sport ATV fondly remember. But the Banshee benefited greatly from a close ratio 6-speed transmission to help harness its top-end focus power. And now, so does the YXZ1000R. The new six-speed transmission has a 40% lower first gear than the 2019 through 2023 gearbox. That's 6% lower than Yamaha's original accessory tag gear kit. The gap between first and second gears was tightened significantly to make it easier on the engine to pull up shifts at lower speeds. The entire gearbox has closer ratios throughout with 6th gear slightly taller than 5th gear in the previous transmission. Top speed remains the same, governed by the ECU's tuning. If you crave additional top speed, a simple ECU flash from an aftermarket tuner and or larger tires should help. The new gearbox is also claimed to allow better performance with the use of larger tires. Yamaha tested it to work with 26 to 32 inch tires. To enhance the YXZ's appeal for a broader audience, in addition to being able to manually shift the Sport Shift model, Yamaha added two auto shift modes selected by a knob on the dash. The paddle shifters allow you to override the auto shift modes manually at any time for enhanced control. The three shift modes include Sport Shift, manually shifting with the paddles, Sport Auto, and Auto. Clutch durability is said to have been radically improved Thanks in part to the lower first gear and closer gear ratios, clutch temperatures are said to have been further reduced thanks to increased oil volume and oil flow to the clutch with an updated basket and pressure plate. Cooling fins were also added to the outside of the clutch cover. The electronic clutch on the Sport Shift models has been recalibrated for smoother engagement and a reduction in feel and sound, aided by rubber mounts on the Sport Shift's transmission. They were not used on the manual shift version to retain more of a connected feel between the driver and the powertrain. The new first gear is super low, with the clutch staying fully engaged down to around 2 miles per hour, beneficial when crawling. The sound and feeling of half clutching have been reduced in addition to being far less frequent. Ed spent a lot of time manually shifting to thoroughly feel out the gearbox. The new gear ratios of the 6-speed transmission were a huge improvement, allowing you to better take advantage of the engine's power. First through third gears have been notably tightened. Fourth through sixth have as well, but not to the same degree. The gap between first and second gear is no longer an issue. The tighter gear ratios throughout help make the engine's low end and mid-range power more effective not requiring you to ring the engine out as far before upshifting. The new transmission helps the YXZ's engine work more effectively, especially at lower speeds where it needed it most. The tighter gear ratios seem to help the YXZ accelerate more quickly everywhere, although the transmission added a few extra pounds. If anything, having the engine's power more easily on tap made the YXZ feel a bit lighter on the trail. 
Auto. The standard auto shift mode definitely seems more suited to casual driving. Upshifting typically takes place in the middle of the RPM range, keeping the engine's noise down. Shifting under less power makes upshifts smoother. Keeping the engine operating in the low and mid-range also makes power delivery feel more controllable and easygoing. On Steve Dunes, we found the shift algorithm to allow the engine to fall a little lower in the RPMs than we'd like before downshifting. We found ourselves preferring switching to Sport Auto or Manual Sport Shift to help keep the RPMs up in the dunes. The transmission's Sport Auto mode responds pretty intuitively to what the driver is demanding from the engine. Drive around at half throttle and the transmission tends to upshift sooner at a lower RPM. Bury the gas pedal and the transmission upshifts at high RPMs with the engine screaming, maximizing acceleration and thrill factor to help prevent unwanted upshifts racing up steep dunes in Sport Auto. Ed times his demands on the gas pedal to keep the RPMs up and the engine accelerating. Sport Auto works about as good as can be expected from a sequential gearbox, and we mean that in a positive way. With a little skill, the manual sport shift mode will help you extract a little more performance from the YXZ, but it certainly wasn't necessary to navigate the diverse terrain found at Sand Hollow. As experienced off-roaders, we've always enjoyed the added control that being able to manually shift the YXZ provides. It adds to its race car appeal, allowing you to keep the engine at the precise RPM and amount of power you want for a given situation. You can let off the gas and shift, or keep the pedal buried and grab the next gear. Shifting is quick and flawless. Being able to downshift on demand, you can harness as much or as little engine braking as you want. With the new gear ratios, launch mode can now be used for drag racing starting in first or second gear. Don't want to shift? Launch mode works in both auto and manual shift modes. The drivetrain offers two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive with front differential lock. With lower traction conditions in the sand, Ed spent most of his day testing in limited slip two-wheel drive helping pull the machine up hills and out of corners. Limited slip four-wheel drive was all that was necessary to navigate Sand Hollow, leaving differential lock in reserve for more severe conditions. Additional upgrades include an increase in the charging system from 420 to 1000 watts to power accessories like whip flags, which the YXZ is now pre-wired for. Overall, the auto shift mode should definitely improve the YXZ's appeal for beginner and casual drivers. Aided by its close ratio six-speed transmission, diehard motorheads like us can appreciate the updates just as much as the noobs. Chassis and Suspension the YXZ1000R is built on a stout-looking steel chassis, protected end-to-end -end by composite skid plates. Dual triangular gussets were added to the frame at the front of the rear control arm mounts for 2024, along with longer, stronger-looking rear fender braces. Double wishbone suspension is used at both ends. The rear control arms somewhat mimic the design and function of trailing arms and radius rods, but with a more rigid and robust design. The YXZ measures in at 64 inches in width with a 90.6 inch wheelbase, an overall height of 68.5 inches and 12.2 inches of ground clearance, down from 2023's 13.2 inches of ground clearance due to the added weight of the transmission and other updates. The base model YXZ Sport Shift has a claimed wet weight of 1,574 pounds, up 51 pounds from last year. Dimensionally for a 64-inch track width car, the wheelbase is somewhere in the middle, with a slightly lower overall height and ground clearance than some, contributing to the YXZ's stable planted feel. Fox Podium 2.5 RC2 shocks are used at both ends across the YXZ lineup. They feature preload, spring crossover, high and low speed compression damping, and rebound damping adjustments. The rear shocks feature Fox bottom out cups to help reduce any harsh bottoming sensation. For 2024, the rear shocks receive stainless steel sleeves to help protect the aluminum bodies from wear. The shocks control 16.2 inches of wheel travel front and 17 inches out back, putting suspension travel in the middle for the 64-inch naturally aspirated 1000cc class. Electronic power steering is found on all YXZ models. 
when we started testing. The shock settings were in the middle on the sandy trails and dunes. Ed backed high-speed compression damping out halfway between the middle and fully soft to take the edge off high-speed bumps and rocky sections, which made a notable improvement. Overall ride quality is on the firmer side, aiding its sporty handling. But we were able to make it comfortably plush, with more adjustment left in the shocks to further soften the ride. The race-inspired suspension rarely bottomed out. The back end of the YXZ tends to dance a little in the whoops. With more time to tune suspension, Ed suspects he could have calmed the back end a bit more. Trailing arm and radius rod rear suspension tends to perform a bit better in the whoops. A more traditional A-arm style back end like the YXZ rewards you with flatter cornering without relying as much on the machine's width to gain stability. Cornering manners are relatively flat, with enough weight transfer to keep the outside front tire hooked up and steering precisely. It's stable and goes where you point it. Crawling up and down steep rocky inclines, the YXZ feels pretty planted. Framing out was rare where we tested, with slightly careful line selection. Ground clearance can be increased by adding some preload to the shock springs and or by running larger aftermarket tires. Yamaha's electric power steering keeps steering feeling light and natural at all speeds, while keeping bump feedback to a minimum. Brakes The YXZ1000R is slowed by hydraulic disc brakes with dual piston calipers at all four corners. Steel braided brake lines, larger front rotors, larger pistons, and a larger master cylinder were all added to match the tire size increase back in 2019. Braking power and feel were both excellent. Braking bias seemed spot on, providing great traction at both ends when you're hard on the brakes. Interior and other details. Getting in and out is pretty easy and unobstructed, unlike some others. As a ride-in vehicle, we do wish a roof came standard on all models, not just the XTR edition. The cab features plush high-backed seats with extra lateral support and outside shoulder bolsters. Both the driver's seat and passenger handhold are adjustable, in addition to the steering wheel, which features 5.8 inches of tilt adjustment. The steering wheel continues to gain praise for its compact design and high traction rubber coating. The seats are well positioned. They're low enough that they provide a good feeling for how the YXZ is handling, yet high enough that when combined with the steeply sloped hood, sight lines out of the front of the car are excellent. Several editors, including Ed, complained about their knees becoming sore from resting against the door and center console. Yamaha offers a soft touch point kit that adds padding to these areas. The steering column mounted instruments feature a combination digital and analog display. A shift indicator light can be programmed to go off at a certain RPM reminding you when to shift. The instruments move with a tilt adjustable steering wheel providing easy viewing. In-cap storage is provided by a passenger side glove box. There are dual cup holders, but unfortunately, both of them are on the passenger side. The cargo bed on the back of the vehicle has a 300 pound carrying capacity. With a radiator located in the bed, it's roughly 27 and a half inches wide and 12 and a half inches deep. Yamaha offers an accessory tire mount and a cargo box to maximize the bed's carrying capacity. For those who like customizing their ride, all of the previous existing accessories carry over to the 2024 YXZ. Conclusion As impressive as 2019's updates were, the update to a close ratio 6-speed transmission with the addition of dual auto shift modes make the 2024 easily the most improved YXZ1000R since Yamaha released the sport shift model back in 2017. The difference in drivability of the engine on all models is profound, thanks to the new gear set. The YXZ1000R delivers the most race car-like experience in the one liter naturally aspirated segment. The addition of two well-tuned auto shift modes puts that experience within reach of many more drivers building a skill set or who would simply rather relax and sightsee. We believe both casual drivers and racers alike will benefit greatly from Yamaha's 2024 updates. With dramatic improvements, thrilling performance, and one of the most entry-level price points in the sports side-by-side -side segment, there are a lot of good reasons to consider or reconsider the 2024 Yamaha YXZ1000R.
For more information on the 2024 Yamaha YXZ1000R and their full line of side-by-sides and ATVs, log on to YamahaMotorsports.com.